the way to the back of the church and go up the stairs, narrow stairs, and the black Nazarene was kneeling down and he kissed the feet. And the foot. Yeah, but you know, you know what I don't understand about all that kneeling and sacrifice okay. they are. But do you, do you mind no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, I mean, you, you, you came but it, and if I'm not finished talking, you but it, but no, 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 because, but because we have a room, no, 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 we have no, a room, no. we have a room, <laughs> we have a room, <laughs> what's the room, no politics, no religion, no, 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 this, this, no, no, this is, no, no, this is, no religion, no politics, this is between me and my sister, okay, all right, go ahead, you, you, no, 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 but the reason I'm saying this, all that kneeling, you know, <laughs> what good is it? It's not helping you. Look at all the poor people in the Philippines. It's not helping them. It wasn't not, Christ, didn't Christ not, live like a... Normally just trying to tell what the custom is. No, I understand what you're saying, Uncle Eddie. I, I have a question. What do you remember back when you were younger? Like when you guys were living in the Philippines? Like when you guys were little and you were living in the Philippines? Yeah, what do you remember? Hardly anything. Well, that's how I told you. All right. Well, Auntie Norma, you start out. Let's see if you can jog their memory. Right now, they're talking about religion right oh, now. We're going to change the subject. <laughs> we're going to forget about religion. Forget it with religion. We want to hear about you guys when you were little. All I remember is I had good grandparents, very good grandparents. That's good. Because both of them never screamed at me, never spanked me. They always spoke softly to me. You know, and that I remember very, very well. Okay. I remember, yeah. you said you remember that you did not get a spank. I remember we were, we were just talking about going to a river to go swimming. You remember that? Yeah, we got and we, we, and when we didn't go, we, didn't we came home swimming. and there was our uncle, no, no, Uncle Kiko. So he down. was in charge of giving us the whipping. <laughs> and he did. He spanked us and said, no, I didn't do anything. We did not go swimming. We did not. We just talked about it. We got spanked. No, okay. Excuse me. If you remember, if you remember, I said, I was not spanked. <laughs> I was not spanked. He got spanked. No, no, hold on. Okay. <laughs> See? I mean, there's, you know what I'm trying to Oh, I agree with you on that one, okay? I mean, that, that, he never screamed. Grandpa, both my grandfathers never screamed. Never. We could not run in the house. We could not slam the door. We could not jump in the house. That's the way we were. What did your grandparents do? My grandparents? Mm -hmm. What were their jobs? My grandparents, my, with the, with the what? What were, they, what were their occupations? My grandfather was the treasurer of the Masonic Lodge. For years and years, okay, yeah. he was not changed till he was ready to come to the United States because he really resided. Everybody wanted him there because he was such a good man. Yeah. Very reasonable because in those days, most of the retired American army men were drunk. And what money they got because they were womanizers too. Okay. Most money they got did not last because they drank, you know. And so they would go to call my grandfather on the phone and tell him he could come to the house, my grandfather's house, and they would borrow money. They had money for them, so they could borrow. That's the way the, the Masons were in the good old days. They helped each other. But this was money that the Masons had. And my grandfather was the treasurer for the longest time. And then they paid back the money? Huh? Did they pay back the money? Oh, yes, they did. They did, yes. What year do you think that was? Oh, uh, I was born in 1930, okay? I was born in 1930. Let's say I was 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think my, my grandfather left, I think, in... 1939 or 1940? Uh, mm -hmm. 19, he left. 19, he was, he was a, a treasurer all that time. The United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And when my grandfather died, he died here in the, in the United States while they were eulogizing him. It was so sad because everybody just loved him. Because, like I said, he was a gentleman, you know. I mean, very seldom you see gentlemen. Was this your, your mom? My, my father's dad. father. That's what I told them. What, that one? What's that? What's that? That's what I called them, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> what about I said, your other You're not a gentleman. You know, the gentleman. I said, you're a gentleman. Gentleman. Yeah, he was an officer and a gentleman, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Makes a big difference. It makes a big difference when, when, when the people, when the people highly respect you. I'm telling you. I mean, you carry it all your life. That's what he always told us. You take good care of your name. You don't do anything ashamed of. You'll be ashamed of, and you can even talk to the president or whoever it is, and you will not be ashamed. That's what I always heard when I was young. That's great. What about your other grandpa? Same thing. He was so nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I That much I can tell about my two grandfathers, both maternal and paternal grandparents. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I did not see my mother's mother because she passed away before, after I was born. Whereas the, my, my grandmother's father passed away before I was born. I was between two deaths. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about what about what uh, your parents did? Our grandparents did what, in what? the Philippines. What did they do in the Philippines? What Grandpa did Albert. They... My ah. my my father uh -huh. was not working right. because he's a gambler. Ah. He was, <laughs> it runs in the family, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he was always fighting in the <laughs> playing cards. Cliche, cliche. He was a womanizer and, and a gambler. And a gambler. Was, but he does not smoke nor and drink. Also, <laughs> and he does not lie. Wait a minute. He does not lie. That's what he does not lie. My father, my father, he's got two vices. She said, she said, oh, he's a womanizer. No, 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 no. His dad okay. takes after uh, him. <laughs> because I t talked to your dad one time. I said, why don't you leave the women alone, take care of your kids? And he said, Jim, can't do that. He liked the ladies. Right. They liked him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. He's like Grandpa. <laughs> like Grandpa Albert and Uncle Butch. <laughs> So what about, <laughs> what else do you remember when you were little? In the Philippines. Like, where, where, were you, where did you live in the Philippines? Where did we live? We, we lived in Manila. In a little... Oh, well, there was a one, one-way street, a one, <laughs> one block street. That, Reposo. That, Reposo, it's called Reposo. Um, what was I going to say about it? Is Rockley. It's in the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's in the world. Oh, no, it's not it, it is inside the uh, intramurals walled city. To visit? No. What did it look like? No. Okay. That it. is oh. on the way to San Juan and Mandaluyon. Uh, if you go to Manila, you will see this uh, railroad station in Old Santa Mesa where there was an overhead bridge. Okay. That, br that street would go straight ahead to go to Quezon City. And then on the right, it would turn right like this, and it would go separate ways. One is Valenzuela, and the other one is Old Santa Mesa. And the first street that was deposited, that, that was just one thing like that. Mm. One, one little, like a little block. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So and then the next street would be Bimapa. And after that, it was all fields, like a... They even have like a little swamp there. There's a river. Uh -huh. the, the water is, gets stagnant there, but they plant uh, like hay. Mm -hmm. And then they have no water gabi. lilies over there. No, not oh. gabi, nothing okay. to eat. Oh, nothing to eat. Okay. Nothing to eat. Gab, I mean, yeah. uh -huh. Water lily was there. Okay. And then they had the old San Juan River right there. That's, you know. What do you remember? It's nothing. Well, what Just is, like what you did guys, the house you go like? at the school, huh? 
What did the house look like? I even oh, show, I wish I had the picture. Somebody threw it away. The house, we, is, uh, the house, has, the house is over there. It's not too different from here. Only it's made constructed different. Mm -hmm. We have. It's in still. A lot of them are raised. Oh, okay. But and then and you could go walking around underneath. <laughs> Yeah, and you could play around there and everything. My, my grandfather's house was a chalet with chalet, I think they call it chalet. It had four bedrooms, living room. Wow. There's his balcony, living room, then his li uh, library room, then there's a, a what you call this, a hallway, one bedroom here and three bedrooms here. Then right there was the dining room, and then you go out. Right here is a breakfast nook, and over here was the where they iron clothes, and then there's a big, big kitchen, and right here is the bathroom, and right here is the separate bathrooms. One is for the toilet, and one is for the bathroom. And also, when we were living there, we have a chauffeur, cook, a yaya, they call, that takes care of the kids. She even, and my grandmother house, also. The boy that cleans, our house made the pizza. House. My grandmother also had a gardener. I think a lot of people still have those. Right they even have a maitre d', okay? We're not poor. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a nice lifestyle. <laughs> was, oh, was. Yeah, all we did was play when we were kids. So I, had to, I had to dust, all excuse me, I had to dust before and I went to But when your parents whistle, <laughs> you turn around and go inside. Who's, who has they the white car parked behind my truck? No, it's be us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to move it real quick. We can move it. Be careful with the high performance machine. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, hey. What about, um, oh, that's what I forgot. I, when the, uh, you said earlier that, that uh, things were, you were treated differently as a girl. You were watched more. What were sure, the, that's the way, that's the way we were, we're just like Spanish style. Mm -hmm. They watch the girls more than they watch the boys. Yeah, because the boys get freedom, you know, because, you know, they can do what they want, but the girls <laughs> cannot. But mm -hmm. were you not allowed to do yeah, that? We were always, wherever I went, I was escorted. I, I, I cannot just go anywhere. Even if I don't have any, uh, uh, what do you call this now, yaya, mm -hmm. I don't have that. Uh, one of my friends or somebody was always watching me. If, if I went with my friends anywhere, somebody would call the house and tell them, we just saw your granddaughter here. Was that because you were wild and crazy and they had to... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's because they want to know where the, where the children are. We, we cannot just go play anywhere. No. Old fashioned custom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. They were watching you all the time. I remember also during the war. When the Japanese were on there, we were running away from them, and every time they come around, you guys, you and Auntie Irene, were hiding in a closet or something. Oh, that was because during the war, there were uh, bandits. They were supposed to be guerrillas, but they were bandits, okay? And they liked to get women. So, several times, they tried to get me, so, uh, well, You were 14? God, 11. 11. <laughs> War broke out 1941. <laughs> uh, they just tried to get women, period. Mm -hmm. The Japanese tried to get women, the men wanted, that's why I said, I'm blessed because I got passed that. Although at one time I had the, what do you call that, bayonet right here because when the Japanese were coming inside the city, they called it open city. Okay, whoever they meet, they kill. Okay, so because my auntie Marie, because she, she was a r good reader, you know, she studied her her books very well. Anyway, she was reading about the war, and she said, whenever it's open city, people will have to hide because. The, the the soldiers would loot the homes and then they would ravage the women. So then, just before they declared open city, because they would say, they, they announced it on the radio, it's going to be declared open city. 
so we rushed right because we had gone out of the city while the while the firing was going on. So then we had to rush back to the city. Okay, and uh, when we rushed back in the city, we were there a little while. All American property was sealed by the enemies. So uh, when they came to the house, this I'm very, very honored to say that the Japanese general was a graduate of, uh, how do you call this? Look at that. Yeah. 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 No, that army thing. Oh. West Point. West Point. There we go. West yeah. Point is a graduate. He was very good looking. I very good. <laughs> tall, tall and good looking. <laughs> and when he saw the house, he said, your house is immaculate. I'll always remember that because for an enemy to say that, you know, that's a... To me, that's quite something because he, he looked at all over the house. See, Auntie Marie made us clean that house. <laughs> Just before, you know, the war was going on. You clean the house, you clean the house. Everybody was cleaning the house. We had a, everybody had a, had a bed, uh, what do you call this? You know? A rag, rag. No, a bed, you know. A to pot. plant, to plant, you know, to plant. Garden. A garden, you know. Uh -huh. Everybody would have a, a, a bed. And each one was going, I don't know if you're good tomatoes or what to do. Uh -huh. you, you had a bed to yourself. Oh, a bed. Yeah. <laughs> a garden. Yeah. A flower bed. A flower, a flower bed. bed. A flower bed. Flower bed. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway, um, that helped us too, you know, those, those uh, gardens. Because we, instead of playing, we would be there in the garden just doing, you know, gardening and all that. Kept the kids occupied. Yes, yes. But I, I'll never forget those Japanese. They came in the house. They looked all over and they said, your house is so immaculate. Mm. You know, because very seldom when people are, you know, especially, especially they have to do the work all by themselves. There's nobody else to help them. The, the war is going on and you'd be thinking about cleaning the house, mm -hmm. you know. Clean the house, clean the house, clean the house. That's all I could hear. Clean the house, you know. So you said you left the, the city for a while, and then you had to rush back. Where did you go when you left? We went to... Uh, just a bit. No, no, no. Tanawan was when the Japanese was going out. We went to Pila Pila. Pila Pila, Pila that's in Rizal. Pila Pila, it's... it's where they have all the ducks. Oh. And it was so bad because they had the ducks underneath the house. Oh. Uh -huh. And I don't mean just tenor. They had a flock of ducks. Oh. And my grandmother would throw up every time. You said it was ducks and not geese? Oh, yeah. huh? To make balut? Yes, that's what they were using it for. It, it was balut. Not, why, why I think that? it was geese, not ducks. No, that's yeah. ducks for, okay. for the balut. Okay. So did you have to oh, leave? Oh, they use duck egg for balut? She, they surely do. Yeah, yeah. 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 duck eggs. I thought it was geese eggs. Yeah. So where did you come duck. from? Balut. Did you ever have balut? Yeah. Wow, wonderful. So, Auntie Norma, did you have to, you had to leave no, Manila, be, the city, you, because you, they were firebombing? You eat it, but you close your eyes. Yeah. Our, no, 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 my grand, my grandmother's no, house. Just eat it. Just close your eyes. They had a look at, look at here. place look at between here. my grandmother's room and the place where they ironed the clothes. There was a shrapnel went through. Okay. And so you went, what, how long did you stay there? Just a couple of months, I guess. A couple of months? Yeah. And then when then they, when they when declared when open city, you came back? When they, when we, just before they declared open city, we went back to the city. Why did you go back? Yeah, it seems like you stay away. No, because because once they declared uh, uh, a place open city, they made peace with the uh, with the uh, what do you call people. that? The people. The native people. Yeah, they they make peace with them and they they govern the place. You know, they're the ones that reign there. But like when they sealed my grandmother's house, okay, they sealed my grandmother's house, 
and then they may just live in my mother's house. We moved back to my mother's house. Because somebody else comes in. And then they, there they was took they, over the house. They don't forget it. They okay. took over the house. But excuse me, please. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> they got somebody to rent the house. And that rent, I just forgot how much it was. Okay, but just supposing it's $500. Then my aunt has to add some more. I think it was about a hundred more dollars just so we had to pay the Japanese army that we brought it to the city hall and pay them there. My, 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 my aunt Marie went to the, because my aunt Marie and us and my grandmother lived in my grandmother's house after it was sealed, okay? So then, uh, and my aunt Marie has to go to the, the, the office, their office. She got slapped yeah. at one time mm -hmm. because you're supposed to bow, bow. When you see them, and when when you're supposed to bow a certain way, you know, you, you have to slide your hand this way and bow. You, this has to be straight. Mm -hmm. Your back has to be completely straight. Straight. It can't be any, any other fast. way. Mm -hmm. And so she, she, she was in a hurry. She, she just went like this. So he said, Kra, hang. He slapped her. And you know what she did? She slapped him back. Oh, the lovely didn't buy Oh no no, it was, it was a blessing too because there was a Japanese general coming out. Oh. And the guy, the soldier, got punished because see they're supposed to be peaceful. It's not wartime already, you know. That's what happened. Mm. Yeah. So mm. then. After that, okay, so the couple of years, everything was smooth, okay, oh, it was nice during that time, because everybody was back to bed. All we did was go dancing, go partying, because the schools were closed, okay, the schools were closed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all they did, they go picnicking, everything was back to normal again, and then, when the Japanese was losing, and they were going to come in. My Auntie Marie said, you better go back to the province uh, and stay there because uh, we might all go hungry here. That's because when the Americans were coming? The Japanese knew the Americans were coming? No. The, no? the Americans were was going to get back the Philippines, okay? B before MacArthur entered, okay? MacArthur was in another part of the island, so we went to Batangas. But we um, went back to Batangas, and while... We were there, and the Japanese, oh, one day we just heard uh, somebody say, better get out of here, they're killing everybody in town. Because they cordoned the town, and they, they killed the people there. But see, we were able to go, and in our haste, to, oh, when we were, during that time, all of us had this hard-boiled duck eggs, and we had... No, just plain old hard-boiled eggs. We don't have any eggs in, I mean, ducks in that world, right? Remember, remember uh, mother and chickpea? No. Okay, let's just say eggs. If eggs. Then you want, sweetheart. <laughs> there was no ducks in Kanawa. <laughs> huh? I think there was. No. We, because the ducks because they egg. make special now the chipla. So every time one they want to mix water to duck eggs. Well, anyway, anyway, no okay. <laughs> yeah, but he came from the fields, okay. Oh, my no. mother would, would get all the vegetables to bring to the city by, uh, by those carts. You remember those carts, Cariton? My mother would bring that to the city, but then just before the Japanese landed, I mean came from the hills, uh, my mother saw one of our neighbors, who was the, used to be the president of the Philippine, Philippine Development Company, and he was our neighbor, never spoke, yeah, never, never spoke to us, although my mother and my mother would take me because they, my mother did the uh, Home service, my mother was a beautician, and she had a beauty shop. Uh, 
But then my mother was looking out the window and she saw Mr. Taylor. I was the one who saw them. Okay, you were the one who saw them. Uh, my, my mother, you know, my mother is very friendly. So she, she tells us, who are those? Are those our neighbors? So she, she went down and she says, what are you doing here? They were looking for a place to stay because nobody would give them a friend. Uh, thing because everybody yeah. was scared. scared. They were hungry. That's right. I, so then, I agree with you then. So then, uh, you know. Explain to them what they look like. Okay. Uh, before that, they were always dressed to kill, you know, because they're very rich. But uh, at that time, they looked like hobos. No, they. The reason they were running <laughs> and hiding is because yeah, they're one is blonde Spanish, and the other Spanish. blue eyes. Everything. That's why they. They can't hide. <laughs> They'll stand out. <laughs> you wanna go? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Are you going? <laughs> so, so Grandma Ina, she give them shelter, and we gave them shelter for a few days because uh, nobody would take them in. So then, my mother was ready to take those carts to the city. So she would bring them to Kalamba, and from there she'd take the batel. It's a boat, small boat, and it would carry carts. Okay. And it, this is when you guys were in the mountains. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we were not in the mountains yet. We were in a in a town. Okay. That's my mother's hometown. The Nawa. The Nawa. And uh, they were supposed to go by convoy. I don't know how many. Don't remember how many carts there were. But then the others that were going couldn't go. They were so scared, so they gave my mother all these carts to bring to the city. And my mother did, and you know, in the city, she just exchanged that for jewelry and to bring them back. She brought that back too. But on the way with Mr. And Mr. Taylor, his son, and they had a chemical engineer with them. Um, but when they got to Columba, they were uh, stopped because they looked like Americans. Okay, uh, so uh, when they were, uh, this, uh, I call them ignorant uh, Filipinos that uh, were with the Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, uh, I don't know what, what, what was wrong with them, but they, they were with them. And as soon as he said hot in Tagalog, he fired a shot, and my mother was, see, he was like this, mm -hmm. pointing the rifle at, at that Mr., I forgot his name. Mr. Not Taylor? Mr. Taylor, the, the chemist. And uh, my mother was here, and that, my, then anyway, the guy, uh, fine, did he die? or I forgot already, did he die? That, okay, right now I don't remember. Anyway, my, my mother... Mr. Taylor and the son was ta was taken to to the jail or whatever in Kalamba, and these guys had Filipino money. <laughs> he had it, you know, hidden in his Wait, pants. Oh, all over. And, all over. and if that, see, <laughs> my mother was so naive. Uh, if that money was found in him, even man, he would have been shot. All of them would have been shot. Even my mother, because my mother was with them. And so this Mr. Taylor asked my mother, and told my mother that he had the money and if my mother could get it. So my mother just turned around while he took it out of his pants, gave it to my mother. Can you imagine that? Yeah, that's I was scary. 
That's scary, but she never thought of it that way. She was thinking that he was going to get killed, so why say it? But that's why he was very, very grateful to my mother. And when we came here, gave my mother some money. That's why we had dollars when we came here. Mr. Died. I, I, I forgot already. Right now, that's, I, I don't remember. All I can remember is Mr. Taylor and Mrs. Taylor because we were able to see them after the war. Okay. Oh, yes, because their, their house is right next to our house, you know. So how, how long were you guys in where Grandma Ina was from before you guys had to go to the mountains? Oh, after that, when we when we when we went back to Tanaw and Batangas, my ma my mother was able to return to to us, you know. But after that, he was paralyzed. She was able to get back to Tanaw. After that, she couldn't walk. Her her she had to drag her. Grandma Ina was paralyzed. Well, yeah. That's what I mean. Was she shot? Uh, no, but it's the 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 trauma. The, the shock. shock. She's yes. in shock. Yeah. Yeah. She could not walk. She could not walk, and she she was uh, she was taken care of the Marine Hospital over here when we got here. Marine Hospital over here on Lake Street. Yeah. So anyway, that was that. What happened? Okay, what else? What else? What happened when um when you guys when did what caused you guys to go to the mountains? That's why I told was telling you a little while ago. Uh, we heard this town like a town crier. In those days, we had town criers. Whenever there's something, they would ride a horse and tell everybody, "Get out of here! They're killing in the city." What mm -hmm. you know? So when we heard that, but of course, even before that. We, all of us has this, like a handkerchief. Like I said, they had eggs. We had eggs in it, and we had some kind of uh, oranges or something there. So that when you, when we, oh, and a change of clothing, in case we got separated, you had something to eat. So thank God we were not separated. Anyway, we got on the way to the mountain. This truck stop. The truck stop. And these Japanese came down, and uh, they had their bayonets. And one of them had it right here. And I, when I sucked in my breath, I didn't <laughs> exhale anymore. I was just, you know, like this. Because I, I thought that thing was going to go down, you know, inside mm -hmm. of me. So then, anyway, my mother got down from the cart and gave them some boiled bananas and hard boiled eggs and they let us go that's why my, my children always say well your life was only worth the bananas and hard boiled eggs yeah where did you guys go when you went to the mountains up in the mountains was it a town or a no no that's not buot that's buot how long were you there maybe a month huh? It, 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 was, I know we, I know we lived in, uh, it was in the Sahel, we were hiding in there all the time. And yeah. Past the food, and we were in the shrub. Wait, you were in, the, you were in a gully? Yeah. 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 Gully, it's like a cliff, it's a sheer drop. And you guys were there for about a month just hiding? No, in the house. But then when the, when the shooting, the, you see, the owner of this house lived on top of the hill. And then going down the hill and going up, he had a, a shanty there for a guard because he has an orange grove. And the oranges were ripe. We could not get hungry because we had oranges and, and bananas all over the place. There's all, all kinds of fruits. And this guy, this guy, he, be he belongs to a certain <coughs> sect, okay? He will not handle money. He will not handle money. His hair is like Benji's, but he just leaves it like this long. And I'll tell you, when I first saw him, I was so scared of him because he looks like, oh my God. Anyway, he was so ugly. To me, he was so ugly. 
Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I didn't say you. I, I mean that guy because you know he was not young. He lived in the he lived in the bushes, you know. Although he had two two boys, he had two boys. Like I said, he he belongs to this sect. He's supposed to be related to my mother because he was the one who came to the place where we were uh, seeking a, a night where we could stay. And uh, just as we were sitting down to dinner, there was a knock at the door. Now, not really a knock, they say taupo. Back home, they don't have doorbells in those days. Uh, they would say taupo, you know. Taupo means men here, you know. So, of course, they knew each other, they let them in. And then he introduced himself, he says, you don't know me, but we are related. That's what they told. See, my mother's aunt was with us. Uh, she was a maiden aunt, no, never got married. And uh, she introduced himself, and then he told the uh, says, if you don't mind, I'd like them to live in my house, says, because we won't be there. And so we had no choice. I mean, here, whereas we would have to pay the one that took us in, okay? So then, uh, so we went to their house. They had a house by the, like I said, by the street, and then going down that little hill, and going up again, he had a hut where there was this, all these fruits. It's a orange grove. And then there's bananas all around. And he had cacao trees too. But the, 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 what it was, the oranges was really in abundance. It was, it had fruits. He could not harvest it. And when we ate the fruit, like when we ate, you know how you can smell orange right away? We had to bury the skin. So in case somebody comes, they cannot see it. Because then they'd know we were there in, the, in that place. How often were the Japanese like patrolling that area? We don't know. We don't look at them. I mean, you know, we hide. Anytime you can, you can, you could, uh, the Japanese, when they're walking, you can... Uh, hear their footsteps. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's, there's always, they always uh, fire their weapons. You could hear them coming. And that's when we hear that, we just hide. Okay. And that's when you're hiding down in the gully? Yes, yeah. we hide. Yeah. Hi. And in the, in the gully, there was a uh, wild chicken. Mm -hmm. They had that, like, iguana. What do you call that? Bayawa? Bayawa? Bayawa. Iguana. Yeah. Was they big? Six feet but, long. Could you have but fire? Eat, huh? Could you have like fire? No, we could see them, but we didn't eat. Them. All we had to eat is that bananas and the oranges. They can smell you if you cook. They, you, 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 they, there's plenty of food. Plenty of food, but you can't you can, you can cook. Even when we were in the city, you yards full of fruits. We have guavas. Wow, very good. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, artists, artists, we have the mango, uh, tamarind, uh, we had papayas at times. Right. The papayas, when there's a big, uh, what do you call that, like a hurricane? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what hurricane. You? A tropical storm? Yeah. The papayas just go down right away. There are typhoons there. Typhoons. Typhoon, yeah. yeah. So, was it when the... Americans landed in the Philippines. Is that when you guys left them? Yeah, we were we were up in the hills. Okay, it was dark. It was daybreak, and we could hear somebody calling my mother, at the ina, at the ina. But we thought they were Japanese, you know, because the Japanese had people do things for them, you know. Mm -hmm. And so nobody would say a word, nobody, until we recognized the voice. And says. He says, you can come down now. The Americans are here. <laughs> yeah. And we went back to Manila. Auntie, Al, uh, Auntie Marie, they all were okay. I mean, they, they just stayed right there. They, they, 
Nothing happened to them. Well, we, we ran away to be safe. <laughs> we did all the work. Yes, but <laughs> the, remember, remember, we were eating good in Batangas, whereas yeah. when I visited... Food, but when you hide and you shake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Hopefully I they don't find you. I remember going to my grandmother's house just before we went to Batangas. And uh, I was I was still coming up the the house. I could smell something really stinky, really stinky. And I said, "What is that?" You know, the Japanese uh, had boats loaded with rice to take to Japan. They were raiding our granaries in Manila, and so those boats sank. And uh, the Filipinos then would do something to create uh, something so the Japanese won't see them. They would dive to get those rice and sell it because they did not have any money. Mm -hmm. And when you cook that rice, oh, it's stung. It's stung. From being in that water. Of course, it's, it's the water. It's Pacific Ocean water. Oh. oh. You know, it's, it's where the sea boats water. are. It's, you know where Luneta is, right? mm -hmm. you know, uh, what did they call the Africa? The marina? Mm -hmm. but port area where all those boats were, all those ships, they were loaded with rice to bring to Japan. Oh. They, they stole our food, those Japanese. They did. Yeah, but I remember when we used to go on, on vacation, go to the Panama. We always wanted to buy the carabao, you know, carabao yes. eat, uh, eat fruit and all the way, you know, we had for the river, play in the river and everything like that. But we got back, last time I was up there, we visited those places, polluted. It's polluted because they, they're not the original natives you there. Want, you would not want they, to go in that river. But when we were young, my, my, my aunt would take us there. Mm -hmm. On the way, they had a they had sugar cane, okay, and oh, they yeah, had the yeah. place to to uh, what do you call that? Get the juice from the sugar cane. Yeah. It's the carabao would uh, you know it's old fashioned. You get that juice and it, they would boil it in a big, big, big. I think the pan was bigger than this. It's big. You can get in there. That was just boiling away until it became raw sugar. And uh, Cheireni would have somebody cut the banana, you know, the, the trunk of the banana, they'd get that. And they'd have two boys holding it, and they'd get, uh, on the way before we got to the sugar thing, my, my aunt would go by where they had the peanuts. Yeah. And then put it in there, and then they put that raw sugar there boiling, and then somebody would even make taffy on the way to the river, and then so we'd be eating in the river at yeah. the picnic. Yeah. And a lot of times when you have a party, you have the roast pig, they have, they're roasting it and everything, have all fresh fruit in it. It's nice to eat. Good. We did not go hungry during the war. No, that's all. We were no. eating all the time. <laughs> eating all the time. Right what about the people who stayed in Manila? Were they? Was they were they the ones hungry, like Auntie Marie. They, they were, were hungry. hungry. But yeah. nothing happened to them. They, yeah. they just stayed in their place. They didn't. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Uh, Auntie Marie's husband. Oh, well, he went someplace else. No, 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 no. Listen to me first. Auntie, no, Auntie Alice's husband, Tute Roses, they were caught in, in Ermita, Ermita, that's where their house was before. And the Japanese was outside, so they could not venture out, they could not cook, or any, they did not have any water. He drank his own pee. <laughs> yes, because, you know, as he said, when you're thirsty, he was the one who told us, when you are thirsty, you have to drink. And that's what he did. But anyway, that was that. And then when did you guys come to the United States? 1945. 1945. June. June.
All the way. Submarine and watching out for submarine and anything. But were you guys it was all a together? Yes. yes. Yeah, someone told me you guys got separated. What kind no, of ship was no, 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 no. We're all together. What kind of USS Flippin' thing. The, the only thing is that the family, all the boys and men were put in with the troops, while the women are in the, in the cabin. So but it was a passenger ship though. Yeah, it's a passenger ship. It used to be a luxury liner that they they rented the US Army. Um, to, to, um, to carry troops back to the States. So troops were normally on the ship. Yeah. How did you guys yeah? <laughs> How did that? How did you guys get on there? Well, okay, US Ameri US uh, uh, citizens anywhere they are. Is protected by the army. So you could My grandfather, like I said, first of all, he was a Mason. Next is a U.S. Army no, officer. No, first of all, he's a U.S. citizen. Okay. Forget the Mason. He's a I am U.S. Then, I'm he's a U.S. Mason. <laughs> no, no, forget the Mason. U.S. citizen comes first, right? Yes. Thank and their you. family. That's right. And the family. So that's. No, but what I mean is, Mason when you are a Mason, you no. get helped. Mason. You get helped. Listen, have you ever heard of any uh, any sure. foreigner that came in the United States whose uh, belongings was not searched when they came in the United States? Ours was not. They did not open our suitcases. That's why I always say. I got something to say today. If you're a Mason and you go back to the Philippines, you are protected by the government, by the Philippine government. The, the, the yeah, because the military the Mason, the, is all Masons. They're all getting into the Masons. Well, not anymore. The Masons is not strong anymore, not like before. Before they were strong. No, they're stronger. Uh -huh. they're stronger. How long are you guys? They're very strong. strong. Yes, they are very, very strong. strong. Very strong. Very strong. Very strong. About 30 days. 30 days? Yeah. What was it like on the ship? It was very nice. nice. I like just it. like because just like the now. kids could go play around and, okay. and you could eat like with the troops and then you eat with the passenger. No, <laughs> we no, go no, back no, and no, forth. No, that, that's wrong. That's wrong, Jimmy. Oh yes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, okay? The women were were doing all right, right? They they they're they're, they're, uh, they're taken care of. The men and the boys were slipping with the troops oh, yeah. on, on, the, yeah. uh, on the bottom. <laughs> and it's hot there. Yeah. I mean, it's hot. That's for the truth. Right? I'm Am I right? No, 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 I'm talking about <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting to that. Okay. It's hot. So we, the boys, we get on blanket, we sleep on the deck. Okay? Am I right or wrong? That's what and said. before before we go any further, I'm going to tell you one more thing. I was barefooted because he doesn't believe me. <laughs> Wait, you barefooted? Barefooted. When, when I came here, but she kept on saying, "No, you had shoes." I know. I said, "I'm I'm the one that's walking barefooted." How would how would she know? Is this on the ship or on the ship? On the ship. And then when we to go. When we went to San Francisco, I was barefooted and yeah. shorts. Sure. I was wearing shorts yeah. and it was cold. Cold. <laughs> See? Am I right? Yeah. 